Across the region, yellow jackets have swarmed houses, gardens, pools, and lakes due to the drought. Alford Pest Control Manager Kenneth Nance says it has made the outdoors unbearable. You know, I'm a big fisherman. I love to go out fishing, but it's really hard to enjoy any kind of, of river bank or, or stream or lake because you're fighting the yellow jackets all day. Yellow jackets survived the mild winter and due to the heat have flourished with more nests. Nance says they are constantly looking for food and water, causing them to become more aggressive. So because right now they've had all spring and summer to build their nests. So their nests are huge. They're fully populated. They're taking care of the queen. So they're being very aggressive as far as protecting their nest. On Monday, Alfred's Pest Control removed a yellow jacket's nest that looked just like this. It had been building on a person's property for over two months and had over 1,000 yellow jackets in it. Yellow jackets have been found in burrows in the ground, wood paddles, burrowed inside trash cans, and more. Nance says to keep a lid on trash cans, avoid leaving out sugary sweets, don't leave scraps in the garden or on the ground, and no holes in windows or window screens. Probably one of the worst populations of yellow jackets I've seen in my years of pest control. They're not posing an immediate danger then, uh, but if you go out and you try to swat at them or you try to spray them with a hose or anything like that, and the nest is right over on the other side, that nest is going to locate you and find you. As we are in peak yellow jacket season, Nance says it's important to check your house for any nest because a sting is extremely venomous. Nance says homemade traps do not work well because they don't catch many yellow jackets, so it's best to call a professional. Completely attacks you. So it's very dangerous to try to take these on yourself because, like I said, the stingers, they'll continuously sting, and if you get multiple stings, it'll, it'll put you in a, in a world of hurt. Yellow jackets have become the tri-state's pesky, unwelcomed next-door neighbor. Abby Lord, WSAZ, Kanawha County.